our storage unit was delivered today, not sponsored. We just have the storage container here at our home for the week, or a few days actually. So here's what the pod, uh, open the other pod. I keep calling it pod, so if I say pod, I mean storage container. So this is 16 feet long, eight, I think eight wide, eight wide, eight high. So whatever fits in there goes and what doesn't fit doesn't go. Unfortunately, we didn't have Peter the Mover, who is wonderful, who helped us move from Sarasota to our house in Northport because our closing date changed, but that's okay. I think it's good practice for Willow and Noah to see the process of moving, what it takes, what's involved, and um, now they know not to keep so much stuff. I think rainy season has begun. Very dangerous. We want to concentrate on the road. So we'll talk to you at home. It looks like there might be an accident, so I'm gonna have to go straight. What's going on? You think is that an accident? Oh yeah. See, it was raining, and then everybody probably stopped and hydroplaned. You gotta be careful. The pod's not eight by eight by sixteen. Rick measured it. I'm gonna have to take a picture of it and call them about that. Things are not gonna fit. So you see we're already putting things at the road for the neighbors to pick up. They've already taken about half of what I had there. But that's the way it goes. When you move, unexpected things happen. This has gotten a little stressful because a lot of stuff is not fitting into the pod. Which is fine, I suppose, because I did say we wanted to get rid of more stuff and downsize. <sighs> Lots to go. So Rick is driving the moving truck back to life storage. We have to get gas first and then drop the truck off. You always have to top off your rental truck. And then of course we have the storage container from Pack Rats in our driveway. We donated our bikes to the neighbor. They've got kids and they've got a lot of family and friends that come over. So I think they'll, I think they'll use it and they're good people. So I feel good about that. The kids went inside Publix to get their sushi. They like their sushi. Rick likes it too, and they have good soup. Publix has some food that's prepared that's pretty good, not bad, so that's what they're getting for dinner. Well, tired, I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like, please share, and don't forget to live a passionate life.